Rise of a Miracle. Rebecca, an eight-year-old girl, heard her mom and dad talking about her little brother Andy. All she could understand was that her brother was very, very sick, and her parents were completely out of money. Her parents were talking about how costly surgery was, and it was looking like there was no one to loan them money. Just then, she heard. Dad said to her tearful mother with whispered desperation, "Only a miracle can save him now." Listening to this, Rebecca went to her bedroom and brought out her piggy bank from its hiding place in the closet. She broke it and collected all that money. She carefully counted it. One, two, three. She took a small purse, placed coins in it, and slipped out of the back door and made her way six blocks to a drugstore. She waited patiently for the pharmacist to give her some attention, but he was too busy at this moment. She made some noise with her feet to grab attention, but nothing. Then she cleared her throat. <coughs> <clears throat> With the most disgusting sound she could master, but still no good. Finally, she took a quarter from her pocket and banged it on the glass counter, and that did it. She got the pharmacist's attention. The pharmacist asked in an annoyed tone of voice, "Em, what do you want?" Without waiting for a reply to his question, he said, "I am busy." I am talking to my brother, whom I haven't seen in ages. Rebecca answered back. Well, I want you to talk to you about my brother. He is really, really sick, and I want to buy a miracle. I beg your pardon. His name is Andy, and he has something bad growing inside his head. And my dad says only a miracle can save him now. So. How much does a miracle cost? We don't sell miracles here, little girl. I'm sorry, but I really can't help you," said the pharmacist, in softening a little. Rebecca replied, "I have money to pay for it. If it isn't enough, I will get the rest. Just tell me how much it costs." Pharmacist's brother, who was standing there. Seeing all this, stooped down and asked little girl, "What kind of miracle does your brother need?" "I, I, I don't know," Rebecca replied with tears in her eyes. "I really don't know. I just know that he is really, really sick, and my mommy said that he needs an operation, but my dad can't pay for it, so I want to use my money." How much do you have? One dollar and eleven cents. It's all I have, but I can get some more if I need to. He smiled and said, "Well, well, well. What a coincidence! A dollar and eleven cents is the exact price of the miracle for little brother." Then he took the money in one hand. Take me to where you live. Let's see if I have the kind of miracle you need. Pharmacist's brother was Dr. Carlton Armstrong, a surgeon specializing in neurosurgery. Little girl's brother operation was completed without any charge, and it wasn't long until Andy was home again and doing well. Rebecca, mom, and dad were happily talking about the chain of events that took place. Her mom whispered, "Dad's surgery. I wonder how much it would have cost. Dad's surgery was a real miracle." Rebecca smiled. She knew exactly how much a miracle cost: one dollar and eleven cents, plus the faith of a little child.